Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Cole and Jay here, and it's a new day, a new adventure, and today's adventure is a hiking adventure to a waterfall that we've never been to before. Yeah, so the waterfall <laughs> the hike that we're going on today is the Eden Falls Trail. It's not a very hard walk. It's like a mile in, mile out, and uh, it's beautiful. I mean, the fall foliage is just absolutely oh, yeah. breathtaking. And what we hear is that there might be like a couple of caves back there. We're not really sure. That's just what we heard from a couple of guys walking back that, that there was a cave. So maybe we can explore a cave, maybe find some salamanders along the way. That's like our number one goal, is to get out here and flip some logs, flip some rocks, and find some awesome salamanders. Like, I think the best salamander we could find today would be like a ring salamander or a western slimy. But we'll probably find like some Ozark zigzags maybe. I don't, I'm not even sure what we're gonna find. There's all sorts of different salamanders to find. But anyways, we're gonna head on out and uh, we'll see what we can find and we'll see you at the waterfall. Push this log over. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's so many, there's so many. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hang on. Oh wow. Oh gosh, Pulling he's going my shirt. shirt. <laughs> he's going a dark hole. I find safety in this. These little salamanders are so cool. So this is the Ozark Zigzag Salamander. The scientific name is Plethodon angustoclavius and they are just so, Awesome, they belong to the family Plethodonidae, which are the lungless salamanders. So these guys breathe through their skin. A little key characteristic on these guys, they have these little awesome little grooves. It's called a nasolabial groove. And it kind of like sticks down, kind of like kind of like a dog's lip, how it kind of hangs down, kind of weird. And then these big old bulgy eyes. They're just so adorable. And we're really hoping, I've said this a couple times, really hoping to find a big Western slimy, so we can really show you these characteristics up close. So they get the name Zigzag, Ozark Zigzag Salamander from the little red kind of zigzag, zigzagging uh, lion on their dorsum. So cool. Flip it. What you find, disappointment? Disappointment! Dang it. That Words. looks like a money log. Oh wait. Right? Nope. Just a bunch of disappointment. Nice try, push it back. So it's really important to put your logs right back where they were whenever you flip them. Check this out guys, I just flipped over this log and look, there is our first western slimy salamander. This is another one of the species we were after today. Oh, what a gem, look at that guys. Beautiful black with white speckling. This one has actually lost its tail sometime in its life and it started to regenerate it. That's a little cool little uh, technique they can do to avoid predators. If something tries to bite onto their tail, they can just throw their tail and then reju rejuvenate it, kind of like a lizard. But look at him. This is another plethodonid salamander. It's lungless, meaning that it breathes solely through its skin. The scientific name of the species is Plethodon albagula. And this has got to be like one of my most favorite plethodonid salamanders. Like nothing makes me smile more than these little salamanders. I just flipped over this log and found another slimy salamander. A little bit smaller, but super cute. So now we have found two slimy salamanders, but we are going to let them go and we're going to keep on the search for salamanders. Sounds good. Back under the log. Guys, we made it to the little waterfall. I think this is it. There might be some more up behind here. There was yeah. a sign that said behind there was, I think, maybe a bigger waterfall, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, this we got is water beautiful. just coming right out of this little cavern right here. It's awesome. It's like the only water we found so far, though. <laughs> That's all right. We're gonna keep on. Uh, there's like a, a rocky staircase. We're gonna climb up that staircase and hopefully see if there's more water up ahead of this. Now, 
We have finally made it to Eden Falls. This little, is Eden Falls. Yeah, the first thing was a little teaser, but this is nice. This is beautiful. I'm thinking this maybe isn't as spectacular, spectacular of a waterfall most of the time because it's not a lot of rain, but since we had some rain, had a lot of rain, it's flowing really nice. But there's a cave supposedly up at the top, so we're going to climb up that trail to the cave and hopefully maybe get inside of it a little bit. And maybe find a cave salamander. That'd be really epic to find a cave salamander. I wouldn't even think of that as an option today. But that'd be really, really cool. A cave salamander, guys. That'd be sick. We made it! So, this herping and waterfall hiking mission has now made us big right turn into a herping and spelunking mission. There were some guys down there said, if you climb to the top of this waterfall, there's a cave. And if you go into the cave, there is a waterfall inside the cave. Apparently a very big waterfall. And awesome. So we're going to take this moment and this opportunity to enter the cave and hopefully maybe find a cave salamander. Ooh. That would be like the most awesome thing to find on this trip. That would cap off our hike to the waterfall as the we get in there. The Holy Grail. Yeah, but we've never been here before. We don't know what to expect. We don't know if it's going to be like hard to get around in there or whatever, but we're going to, we got some flashlights. Luckily, I brought some flashlights in case we're looking at some crevices. And uh, we're gonna go in there and check out and see if we can find anything. Woo! It is a tight it's squeeze. It's a tight squeeze, but we're making it. <laughs> and here's the water. It's getting tight. We're almost there, I think. I hear water. Guys, we got a cave salamander. Wow. These are one of the brightest That's salamanders so you can find. They're orange and the black spots and the same family as the salamanders found earlier. We might have to get this one to bring it outside the cave so we can get a closer look at it before we release it. But check it out. We are, we climbed like 50 yards back here to get the salamander. And look at it, we found it. It's gorgeous. Right where it's supposed to be. That's awesome, Jay. Let's get it. Get it guys, this is the waterfall we <laughs> Hike back here too, it's just roaring and we got a cave salamander out of it. A cave salamander, I knew we could find one. <laughs> this is the salamander that we were looking for. We crawled, army crawled all the way back to the back of this cave. We had never been here before, we didn't know what we were doing. This one guy told us on when there was a waterfall back there, so it's like there's gotta be a cave salamander. And this is the salamander we were looking for, it's the only one we saw. Look how gorgeous this salamander is. You can see it has a really striking bright orange pattern with these beautiful little black dots. This salamander is in the same family as the, whoa, as the Ozark zigzag salamander which we showed you already. The scientific name of this species is Eurecia lucifuga, a very beautiful plethodontid salamander. I'm just so jacked that we were able to climb back there and find it. Weren't you, Jay? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these in real life before? I haven't seen very many. There's not very many opportunities you get to climb back into the back of a cave and actually find these guys. This is like the only environment where you can find the salamanders in a cave. Hence the name Cave Salamander. This is actually the very first cave salamander I've ever seen in person, so I'm just so stoked. I mean, we had to belly crawl all the way back to that waterfall in the cave, and I mean, we looked on the way there and there was nothing there. We had to literally go all the way back, and we found our or my first cave salamander. Yes, this is like, this the is, I said the ring salamander be the holy grail, this is actually the holy grail. This is grail the holy salamander. grail. So what Jay's <laughs> gonna do now, she's gonna take it back up in there and release it. So nobody can injure it. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, take it back in there, Jay. There it goes. See you later. Man, 
that was really cool in there. Yeah, what an awesome adventure today was. Like, going back in that cave and going to that waterfall was literally, like I've seen a lot of waterfalls before in my life, but that, that might be my new favorite. That was just amazing. Yeah, being in a cave, I mean, tight quarters and you have this amazing waterfall uh, flowing right through the middle of the cave, it was really cool. And we were, we were beyond thrilled. We were actually able to find a cave salamander yeah. deep inside that cave. Like that was the only one we saw. Like we looked around and all the nooks and crannies and that one was just sitting out like on a golden platter, like find me. We're like, thank you for making that so easy to find that cave salamander. And I'm really happy that we found three different species yeah. of salamanders out here on the trail today. We found the Western Slimy, the Ozark Zigzag, and the cave. Really cool salamanders. And uh, I think that this is where we're gonna end our mission, right mm -hmm. here at the at the exit hole in this cave. We're gonna head back down the trail and get back in vehicles and head back to the cabin or do something fun while we're still here. <laughs> Guys, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button for us and comment below letting <laughs> us know what you thought of this video. We had so much fun filming this and we hope that you enjoyed it just as much as we did. We're, we're Cole and Jay and we'll see you next time on another epic hiking or outdoor adventure. You never know. Never know.